Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back on another video. This one's going to be about seven signs God is exposing the narcissist in your life. He gives us signs all the time, but people don't take heed. People don't listen, and they find themselves in a deeper hole. And when it comes to the narcissist, what no one really talks about is you're dealing with the demon inside that person. Okay, You're not dealing with humans. The humans, the Bible says that uh, spiritual warfare, spiritual wickedness in high places. So always understand that you are dealing with the demons, okay? Because most of the people are flooded with, are filled with demons, okay? You're dealing with the demons inside that person, or it could even be the devil himself, okay? So please use this discernment. And this video is going to be like, oh, I'm going in, guys. Um, you know, when people think of a narcissist, you know, yes, a demon, a devil, an agent, a tear, um, you know, all these words, arrogant, piece of <laughs> But see, you don't want to say that because they love to get you out of character. No, don't do that. That's when they get you out of character, they got you. They're controlling you. So let's get let's go. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are getting edified. This is the number one sign that God is exposing the narcissist in your life. Take heed, pay attention to the signs because if you don't, like I said, you're gonna be destroyed. All right. And number one sign of that narcissist is a leech. Energy vampires, they drain your soul. This is what the narcissist does. They drain your soul. Even when you're trying to distance, uh, distance yourself from them, you saw all the signs and now you're, you're, you're finally walking and moving in wisdom and, and strength. Okay, now you start to you know go away from them. They're gonna try to drain your soul. Okay, so please take heed, guys. This is a real spiritual warfare. Like I said, guys, you gotta operate with a spiritual mind, which is life and peace, because the carnal mind is death. Okay, so that's what the narcissist does. They leech off your energy. They feed off of draining you. Okay, this is why they constantly. You wonder why they constantly keep, you know try to drain you, try to just just destroy you because they feed off of it. Demons feed off of destroying the vessel of someone that the, the devil is using them to destroy someone. They feed off of it. This is the number one sign, man. So when someone's leeching off your energy, draining your soul, draining your spirit, especially if they if you feel like you're being more disconnected with God because of them, that's a demon. That's a narcissist. Take heed to this, I'm, guys. I'm telling you. I've dealt with these people and I guess how I got the wisdom to know this and I'm going to explain more in this. Oh, I'm going, I'm going into this video. Okay. So whenever someone's leech, a leech, energy vampire, drain your soul, that's the number one sign. Now it's up to you to depart from that person. Unfortunately, some people are married to these people or some, sometimes it could be, you know, your own, uh, your own family, your own blood, your own kin. So walk in wisdom. Number two, the narcissist will gaslight you and have random negative mood swings. And this is all to attempt to control. When they're gaslighting you and these random negative mood swings, like whenever you're happy, they're mad. Whenever you're feeling good, they're sad. This is all to control you. They never want to see you happy. They never want to see you enjoy because demons hate that because they don't feel what you feel. They don't feel the positive emotions that you are feeling, joy, happiness, you know, woo, and feeling good. They don't feel that. So they, they try to gaslight and then they try to, you know, go with the negative mood swings all to control. This is a form of witchcraft. Okay, witchcraft is not only casting spells, hexing, uh, or like black magic. No, witchcraft comes in many, many, uh, many forms. Okay, so all that is just attempt to control you. Okay, so when the gap, when you see the gaslighting, when you see the the random negative mood swings out of nowhere, whenever you're feeling because like you could never have peace with that individual, you're dealing with a demon. You're dealing with the narc, and they gotta go. Because like I said, one thing about the narc. They're just sent here by the devil to, to destroy you. Now, not everyone that's a narcissist is a devil. So, you know, we were all, before we came to God, we were all once, you know, uh, deep in our sin. We were all, you know, um, ungodly living, you know, unholy lifestyles. So not every narcissist is, is a devil. Some of them are, though. Okay, some of them are children of Satan. Okay, but not everyone. This is where you use your discernment. And personally, me, once I see someone as a demon and, or someone has demons in them and they're not trying to fight those demons off or try to change and get better, I gotta go. Peace. My soul's on the line, bro. These are the last days. We don't have time to be dealing with this, that type of spirit, that type of energy. No, no, no. Okay, so the negative mood swings, the gaslighting, attempting to control you, that's all witchcraft. Cut them off. Number three, a big sign. Oh, yes, a big sign. But like I said, guys, people don't take heed to the signs because they're carnal, because they're in their flesh, okay? And, and whoever sows their flesh will reap corruption. Ooh, but he who sows the spirit shall reap life everlasting. A big sign of a narcissist, oh, no, is compulsive lying. Well, doesn't the Bible say that Satan is a father of lies? You see how all this is spiritual? Okay, so like I said, guys, you are dealing with the demon inside them. Satan is a father of lies. A narcissist is a compulsive liar. Do you see how the codes, the codes and all dot up together? They all connect. 
okay? And they will compulsively lie. Oh, I'm gonna go with the next one. But one thing they do this is another form of control. Another way to make you look like you're the crazy one and you're the weird one. No, no, no. Okay, a narcissist is a compulsive liar. And when they lie, 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 they don't feel no shame. They don't feel no guilt. Okay, there's a Bible verse that says that the righteous hate lying. Now, we have all once lied before, but a narcissist is a compulsive liar. It's all to control you, to all to make you, to belittle you and make you look out to be the evil one. All witchcraft, okay? So take heed to that sign. Remember, the devil is a father of lies. And like I said, this all goes back into, you know, a lot of the demonic spirits that's in them because the first narcissist was Satan. He was the first narcissist on this earth. He was the first one. Okay, so always remember that. It all goes back to the garden, guys. When it comes to a lot of the issues we have in life, it all goes back to Adam, Eve, and the devil. Okay? Number four, they will falsely accuse you of what they're doing. Oh, man. A lot of you guys who dealt with a narc, you have dealt, especially when it comes to like friendships or relationships, they will falsely accuse you of what they're doing. This is a form of manipulation and it's sneaky. Manipulation is also another form of witchcraft, okay? So a lot of these narcissists, they operate under that demonic spirit of witchcraft and sorcery and divination, okay? Another form of controlling you. They will falsely accuse you to make you feel like you're the bad person, but behind closed doors, what they're falsely accusing of, they're doing. Okay, they'll falsely accuse you of cheating, they're doing cheating. They'll falsely accuse you of this and that, they're doing it. Okay, and this is another way how you know you're dealing with a narc. Another way you know you have to cut that person off immediately. Okay, so this is what, like I said, I guess manipulation, that's a form of witchcraft. A lot of people are, are confused and unlearned when it comes to knowing what witchcraft really is. Okay, it goes deep. All right, number five is they use, and this is what the, 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 the religious narc, okay, because just because someone's religious or, you know, claimed to be a religion doesn't mean nothing, okay? So they use Bible verses out of context to control and fit their own desires, and they twist the word of God. A lot of these pastors, a lot of these people in, the, in these churches, okay, there's a lot of them who do this. It's a lot of them who do this. They use the Bible and they twist God's word just to confuse you, just to control you, another form of witchcraft. And like I said, guys, just because someone's religious or claim to be holy, we know a tree by its fruits, okay? When you use discernment, you'll be able to see, okay? Open you up your spiritual eyes, having the spiritual mind, being born again so you can see the corruption, so you can see these devils and demons and witches and warlocks and wizards for what they really are, okay? Number six, the narc will never take accountability, always a victim. The Bible says that a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man. When I was dealing with the narcissist, it's because I, I possess some of the same traits. Okay, I wasn't I was never accountable. You know, I wasn't living a godly life. So I attracted the demon. I attracted these devils. Okay, a wicked man is given over to a wicked woman. So if you're always attracting the narcissist, when especially when it comes to relationships, it's because you reflect what they are. Okay, but when you're not taking accountability, you're just playing the blame game. Okay, you're not trying to change, you're not trying to repent. Okay, you're not trying to have the renewal of your, of your mind. You're not trying to walk in the Holy Spirit, walk in wisdom. Okay, you're going to continue attracting these demons. You're going to tra continue attracting these devils. You can't, you can't, you can cry in a corner, but if you're not trying to change, okay, nothing's going to change your life. You're going to continue attracting these devils and demons, and they're going to continue destroying you. Okay, this, like I said, guys, spiritual warfare. Have the armor of God on so you can see what's really taking place because what they're promoting in this world is all distraction. Okay, so the narc will never take accountability. They are always the victim to every, not just in a relationship, in anything in life, anything that happens, they are always the victim. And people who always play victim and never take accountability, they never grow spiritually because actually how to grow in life, okay, you, you, need, you need to be accountable. Even We all have done wrongs. We, have, we all have our own flaws and faults. We have to acknowledge it and change and try to get right, okay? Now, we're going to get right the next day. It's a, it's a work in process. We're all a work in progress. But the narc... The demon, the devils, okay, or the demonic spirits working through that vessel, they can't do that. They can't see their own faults and on, on their own flaws, all right? Number seven, last sign, is they're just completely de delusional, okay? Think about it. They never take accountability, okay? They'll falsely accuse you of what they're doing. They're cheating on you, and they'll falsely accuse you, and they'll make it out to seem that you're doing that, okay? Uh, they always compulsively lying. They're gaslighting you uh, with negative moon swings to attempt to control you. Okay, this is totally delusional. This is totally delusional. Okay, delusional mindset, delusional way of thinking. And they have a reprobated mind. Okay, God has gave all the narcissists over to a reprobated mind. It talks about this in Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. Hopefully, I can leave it on the screen. It's a long verse, but if I can't, make sure you guys look it up. Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. I'm going to try my best to try to fit on the screen. It might be kind of uh, put it small so it could fit. 
But yes, the narcissist has been, is, is totally delusional. They've been given over to a reprobated mind. And some of you guys might be saying, well, Mark, you know, what is a reprobated mind? A reprobated mind is a mind that feeds off a of sin, a wickedness, an evil, and perversion. This is what a reprobated mind does. And a narcissist, that's what they operate under. Okay, so these are the seven signs you are dealing, uh, seven signs God is exposing the narcissist in your life, whether it's a family member, whether it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, whether it's uh, someone at your work, your job, it doesn't matter what type of person. Remember, these, it's a spirit working through a human being. Okay, so these are the seven signs, guys. If you has, if you made this far, if you guys got edified and you guys want to see more content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. People need to hear this message because a lot of people are unaware they're operating under this spirit. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.